Hello, my name is Pratik Patel. I am an internal medicine resident. The title of our study is The Natural History of Patients with Acid Metabolic Syndrome, and our article will appear in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Metabolic syndrome has criteria like central obesity, dyslipidemia, elevated blood pressure, including hypertension, and elevated blood glucose, including diabetes. Patients with acid metabolic syndrome meet the criteria for metabolic syndrome but they don't have hypertension or diabetes. In other words, acid metabolic syndrome is an early subgroup of metabolic syndrome. In our study, we looked at the outcomes in patients with acid metabolic syndrome compared to healthy controls and patients with full blown metabolic syndrome or in other words, patients with metabolic syndrome with hypertension and diabetes. The, the results of our study are shown in this figure. Patients with acid metabolic syndrome had similar rates of all-cause mortality, cardiovascular mortality, and heart failure development compared to healthy controls. However, patients with metabolic syndrome had higher all-cause mortality compared to healthy controls and patients with acid metabolic syndrome. Therefore, our study suggests that patients with acid metabolic syndrome have better outcomes compared to patients with full-blown metabolic syndrome who have hypertension and diabetes over about eight years. So the take home message for clinicians is that accelerated metabolic syndrome is an early subgroup of metabolic syndrome and that identifying patients with accelerated metabolic syndrome early on and treating the risk factors to prevent progression to full blown metabolic syndrome may improve their outcomes. Clinicians should assess patients for risk factors for accelerated metabolic syndrome and counsel them on lifestyle changes that they can make to prevent progression to full-blown metabolic syndrome. So if a patient has risk factors for acid metabolic syndrome, he or she should strongly consider adopting lifestyle changes like weight loss, exercise, and a healthier diet to prevent progression to full-blown metabolic syndrome. Studies need to be done to see if specific interventions like lifestyle changes and medications can prevent progression of acid metabolic syndrome to full-blown metabolic syndrome. Furthermore, the outcomes in acid metabolic syndrome need to be studied for more than eight years. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.